Hi, this is Rich Bean again. I'm going to show you how to attach our zero turn plow to a zero turn. In this case, it's the brand new Titan. The Titan has three inch wide brackets. So we're going to attach our two inch wide bar to the three inch wide brackets and we're adding spacers. Um, if you have a two inch wide bar zero turn, you won't need these spacers. So what we're doing, we're including six of the five inch bolts to accommodate the bigger machines and we also have smaller bolts for the thinner ones so you don't have to deal with these big hairy duty ones. Um, depending on the width of your machine you have to set your bracket accordingly. These bars inside telescope in or out bolts, bolts very securely and make sure this is rock solid. If this wiggles you're going to have wiggle at the end by the plow. It's going to, it's not going to work efficiently. So make sure you can, you know, just rock solid this. Next step is you take your hitch. Now we've already attached the hitch boots. I'll show you where to mark those in a minute because every machine's got a different height level. And also the hitch itself has longer and shorter. So in this case, what we did is we took a sawzall and reduced the length of it to get the optimum distance. You'll know when it's optimum when you have to, you have the plow on it and you angle it you want to make sure that when the plow is fully angled it's not hitting the wheels. Um, and that's something you can customize yourself with a uh, sawzall. Um, you're going to put the clevis pin through here to keep it secure. I'm going to move fast so we're going to come back to the boots. This axle hole should be seven inches from the ground. If it's not, if it's 10 inches and you're plowing snow, the blade's gonna roll up and over. If you're too low, it's gonna scoop underneath like a spatula. So we found the optimum height of the axle hole to the ground is seven inches. Um, so to assemble the Z-turn, after you've gotten the bracket in, take the foot pedal assembly Slide it over the collar, like so. Put in the hitch. Put in the clevis pin. And the cotter pin. Now, I'm going to talk to you about this for a minute. The higher you attach this upper bar, the higher the blade will be raised, but it also means the higher the foot pedal will be. So you got to find your own comfort level. If you don't need to lift the blade up more than three to six inches, you can have this thing go down. If you want a higher lift, you want to raise this up. The key though is to make sure that when you're putting the foot pedal that you're at the third hole from the top. That will allow when you're traveling, you could put this pin in and it locks in place so it's kind of like the travel mode the blade with the foot pedal down the blades actually in the up position take the pin out blade will hit the ground and you're in operation mode to attach the foot pedal slide the chain down the loop take the brassy put it through and there you go now I want to show you something because we have a universal hookup, this is our ideal setup for the bolts holding the boots on. Again, remember we want seven inches from the ground to the axle. But if you notice, I'm hitting that bolt. So if that happens to you because of the height configuration of your unit, take that front bolt out and put it back here. So you have three. We always want to have three bolts. I like the up, down, top, but sometimes this will get in the way and now you don't have any interference except for the one on this side which I didn't take out yet but I will. Um, operation of the plow, in and out, play moves. If you're in the travel mode we give you two of these pins. Put the pedal down, run this through. Now you don't have to keep your foot depressed on the unit to, uh, to uh, travel from your garage to where you're going. Different models of Z-turns. Take a close up here, Ken. 
notice that our hitch bracket, in some cases we can bolt this hitch right to the frame of the unit. We could rotate it so it's underneath, we could put it so it's on top. Sometimes the units are narrower, some of them are wider. So um, there's, there's multiple configurations, but again the key is making sure that this part of the bracket is secured to the unit so there's no bounce in this frame. I hope you enjoy the Nordic Plow on your zero turn mower.